Taylor polynomials and Taylor shares are used a lot. So we like to have a lot of examples. And in this video, you'll see what happens if you try to compute the Taylor shares of a polynomial. And you will also learn uh, why uh, Euler's formula is true, which you may remember from complex numbers. So let's start with the first example. f of x equals x squared, and let's compute its Taylor shares about a equals zero. So what do we need? Uh, well, f of zero, plug in a zero, you get zero, f prime equals two times x. So plugging in x equals zero, yield zero again, f double equals two for all x, and all higher derivatives are zero. So if you, what happens if you write down uh, the Taylor shares? Well, you get zero plus zero times x plus uh, the two times x times x squared over two factorial equals just x squared. So the uh, Taylor shares of x squared is just x squared. Well, is does that surprise you? I hope not, because uh, <coughs> the, the idea of a uh, Taylor series is that you approximate a function by some polynomial. But the x squared is already a polynomial, so if you approximate it by a polynomial, you get, of course, exactly the same. Well, but wait, we, we did this around a equals zero. What would happen if we try some other center point? Okay, second example, choose a center point, a equals one instead of a equals zero. So again, we compute all the terms. Now f of 1 equals 1, uh, f prime of 1, f prime equals 2x, plug in 1, we get a 2, f double equals 2 for all values of x, and all higher order derivatives are 0. So our Taylor shares will be 1 plus 2 times x minus 1 plus 2 times x minus squared over 2 factorial plus zeros. So our Taylor shares will be, I guess, again, a polynomial. Yeah, and that makes sense, of course, again. Uh, because if you would work out the brackets here, you get uh, uh, x squared uh, minus, minus 2x plus 2x, so those cancel out, plus a 1 plus 2 minus 2 over here. So you get, again, x squared uh, back. So if you try to compute the Taylor shares of, a tel of some polynomial, it's totally fine. Uh, you can do that. You can use the general formula, and you will get uh, a polynomial back. Next example. Uh, let's see what happens if we compute the Taylor series of e to the power ix around a equals zero. So what happens if we substitute ix in the power, sh power series of e to the power y? Well, we know e to the power y has some m from zero uh, to infinity, y to the power n of n factorial. And what happens if you just try to plug in ix? Well, then we will get this right here. And uh, let's write down the first few terms. So e to the power x. With to set yield, uh, 1 plus ix to the power 1 plus ix squared over 2 factorial plus ix cubed over 3 factorial plus ix to the power 4 over 4 factorial, etc., etc. And now, uh, first take all the real terms. So the real terms are 1 uh, minus x squared over 2 factorial uh, plus i to the power 4 equals 1 again. So x to the power 4 over 4 factorial, this term, those terms over here. And then we take the imaginary term, so the i times x over here, plus i cubed, i cubed equals i squared times i, so minus i, so minus x cubed over 3 factorial, etc., etc. And now you, I hope you recognize something, because what you see here is the Taylor series of the cosine of x, and here the Taylor series of the sine of x, or the first part uh, at least. So you see e to the power x equals cosine of x plus i times the sine of x, which is exactly Euler's formula, which you have hopefully seen already when you were looking at complex numbers.